For many of us, Judy Garland was that irrepressible ingenue from classic movie musicals. Signed by MGM while still a kid, she was a megastar whose journey to Oz became one of the most beloved and famous adventures of all time. She was the epitome of glamour, and all of the women in my family aspired to be her. Her records were playing in the background of my childhood. For author and journalist Robert Lelou, Garland is an idol. What do you think it is about Judy Garland that made her such an important person in the lives of so many gay men? Her personal struggles were always public struggles, right? Her ability to transcend them through great genius and style and talent and wit. There was a feeling that, you know, she can do it, we can do it too. And while her talent burned bright on stage, she suffered from depression, anxiety, and addiction. Garland, who famously appreciated and embraced her many gay fans, was only 47 when she died in 1969 just days before the Stonewall riots. I'm sure that that public mourning in some way contributed to a sense of outrage. But her fame stayed very much alive. And as the decades passed, Garland remained an heroic figure to many in the gay community. Her relevance reborn on TV and in films like Judy, starring Renee Zellweger. They hound people in this world. Anybody who's different. They can't stand it. On social media and on stage, Seth Sykes is a popular nightclub entertainer in New York. Garland is an essential part of his repertoire. A talent like that comes along every 100 years. And listening to Judy sing songs like The Man That Got Away, I think for a young gay boy in his bedroom with a hairbrush in the mirror, is something you want to emulate. His show tonight at Feinstein's 54 Below for her 100th birthday, Old Judy Garland. But listen to this. I told someone I was doing the concert and somebody said, who's Judy Garland? And their friend said, it's Liza Minnelli's mother. <laughs> As so many honor what would have been her 100th birthday, Sykes understands why Garland's success and struggle continue to resonate so deeply within the LGBTQ community and beyond. I see someone who is triumphing again after many, many setbacks and failures, you know? She was always making a comeback. And she did, you know, to the very end. such an amazing legacy and it's so interesting because there's a whole generation as Seth just said that is like we're not even sure we know who, who she was or what she stood for. Right but will it, at the show tonight will people be yelling to Seth sing somewhere over the rainbow? <laughs> well, Liza Minnelli her famous daughter once said of somewhere over the rainbow when people say why don't you sing that she says it's been done. <laughs> <laughs> and quite well. Yes, yeah exactly. exactly. Thanks Harry. Thank you. you bet. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.